Zodrum and Yusuf. And today, the question for the day is, how do you welcome a terrorist that has changed the repented terrorists per se? Yeah, some of them have decided to change their lives and want to pick up their life again. Will you accept them? Will you take them as brothers? Will you bring them back again close to you at your family members? That's the question for today. So right now, I'll be going to the street of Yola to get the people's view on how they should relate with repented terrorists. At first, I'll be scared. And secondly, the person has to undergo some um, rehabilitation. God will bless rehabilitation and confirm that, yes, his uh, mindset is okay or it's normal then i wouldn't want to judge him because i'm not god nobody is perfect everybody have every right to ask for forgiveness everybody have every right to repentance do you understand so i don't think it's nice for me to just send him away out of my own home no i will welcome him that's just the truth about it you cannot say that they are repent or not so to me it's not a welcome idea i won't accept that yeah, because I will be having two minds whether they are repent or not. So to me, they should just be killed all. <laughs> ah, no, not with me. Go, 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 go meet pastor first. No, be, go, go meet the imam first. After that, I go come all those small, small churches. After then, me, my, my me will be junior Christian. I go go as a Anything like this happens, you see a repented terrorist now. How will you accept the person? I will say accept him as my friend. It's because we are all women. Mm. So uh, everybody have a bad. Sometimes you can do something bad and they'll forgive you. So mm. me, I'm, so I'm going to forgive the person. But to some extent, I want to believe that they should have been trained or passed through a kind of a program that will make their mind to stabilize or else they can be tempted to go back into their own attitude, except if they are properly uh, trained or recycled, passing through a program that will rehabilitate their mind and then I can accept them to the society. But if not, it's scary. Guy, you tell you try ask for street today in Abyssin. If you see Boko around, we don't repent. We say, well, I don't change, I don't repent now. What do you go do? You go accept him to come back to society, or you go say no, no, no to that person. Our uh, main day, our uh, main day that side too. Now only go to Georgia. Me, my own like this. Me, I have no idea any can tell, but I know go feel accept and share. Based on the trauma that people have been. Like for someone like me, I have personal experience with that after mm. what I've been through in movie. Mm. So it'd be like hard for me to accept him back in the, into the community. Okay, you've you've seen them manifest before, like you yes, have an opportunity. Yes, yes. Have their, I was in movie time. then when those talks was going on. So the experience is still here. Mm. So I can't get that off my head. Mm. So it would be hard for me to accept him back into the community. My findings from the street today, everybody has their own opinion. Some said, why not? We can embrace them and take them as brothers once again. Why some others said, it's a no, no, no for me. I don't believe terrorists can change. So let your own opinion. It's just it. From my own vein, I think they should be given another chance. Some of them did not just go into this on their own. They were lured into it. Some were paired into it. Some were so we're also convinced to go into it. So why not? If God can forgive us, why will you find it hard to forgive your fellow human being? Thank you so much for watching today's episode on the streets with Ajoma Yusuf. So bye for now.